Hello everybody, how you guys doing? I'm Chef Yaku, and I'm here with Chef Angel and Chef Brooklyn. Hi! And we are going to show you guys how to make a simple breakfast recipe. Now, a lot of us are, we're at our homes, we are self-quarantined, everybody is staying home. So we decided to do something and, and create a, uh, come up with something that comes from our own refrigerator. Last night we had some asparagus, um, we got some sandwich meat, some honey ham here, and we decided to do a ham and asparagus omelet. So, this is something that's fun that the whole family can do because everybody can kind of join in. And we all know, we're around each other, we're spending time with our family, so this is something that we can do together and have a little bit of fun with our breakfast. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna let Brooklyn actually crack the eggs here. Now, a lot of people are saying, man, how could you let somebody so young crack the eggs? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a strainer in the bowl. That way she can crack them confidently knowing she's not gonna get any eggshell inside the eggs. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Chef Angel, he's gonna take care of dicing up our ham and he's also gonna take care of, of um, cutting up our asparagus from last night. So. What are we all using? We're using some asparagus from inside the refrigerator, but you guys can use any vegetable that you have in there. Maybe you, might, you guys might have some onion, or you guys might have some broccoli, or Brussels sprouts, whatever it is. You can add that to your omelet. And then on the meat side, maybe you guys might have bacon or sausage. We decided just to do a little bit of our lunch ham. Um, we also have bait, a little bit of butter here, and then of course our eggs to make our omelet. The other things you're gonna need is, you're gonna need a little bit of oil for your pan, a nice non-stick omelet pan, and also a high temp spatula. That's gonna make sure you're able to move those sides around on your omelet and get everything when it's time to flip. All right, so uh, let's get to cracking right. and let's get to cutting. Okay. So how many eggs should I put? We can do all six. Oh, okay. And do you want me to finish all of these asparagus? Oh, uh, yeah. Let's cut them all up. So, Brooklyn, how easy is it to crack the eggs knowing that you have the strainer in there? Really easy. Are you scared to get any eggshell in there? No. Not at all. All right. Let's keep cracking them. So, where baby. should I put these? Oh, uh, you put the shells right back in there. Okay. So mommy and daddy's at home. While the kids are cutting up all the toppings and things like that, you guys can start maybe getting the setup ready on the oven and you guys can actually cook the omelets. That makes this a whole team plan. Oh. <laughs> Nothing to worry about though because you got the strainer in there. Good job though. I don't even think you got any egg in there anyway. And we got Angel, he's using a butter knife there so he can cut with confidence knowing he's not gonna cut himself, but it also allows him to start getting an early jump on his knife skills. Isn't that right, Angel? Yes, it is. All right. Okay, and Brooklyn, how many more eggs you got? We all done with no. the eggs? All right, good job, baby. Now we got Angel dicing up the ham here. Go ahead and dice that ham up. Okay. And we're gonna get a dice on the ham. You're gonna go about uh, about that size for your omelets. I know about that size for your omelets. Got Angel dicing it up. Kinda. Good job. So now we are here with Chef Brooklyn. Chef Brooklyn, let's go ahead and whisk those eggs. Let's show the people what happens when you whisk the eggs through the strainer. So go ahead and whisk it up. Yep. So what you guys are gonna do is you just whisk your eggs up, and then here, let's do this together. I'll help you lift it up. As you lift it up, you notice that the eggs will go through and any shell that's left remaining will be at the top of the strainer. But it looks like Brooklyn didn't leave any shells in here at all. I think she's becoming a little pro at cracking the eggs. <laughs> Good job, chef. All right, so we are back. Now, after the kids have done all the toppings and taken care of cracking the eggs that we needed for our omelet parents, now it's our time to step in because now it's time to do the fire. Brooklyn, Chef Brooklyn has already broken up our eggs. Chef Angel has chopped up our asparagus and our ham. Now it's time for the parents to step in because we got to cook. So I'm going to go ahead 
Well, there's probably fire. No, you don't still have to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start our pan on. I'm gonna use a little bit of vegetable oil just to coat the bottom of the pan there. And I use my spatula to go all around the sides, right? I wanna I wanna make sure that the whole pan is coated so that when it's time to flip this uh, omelet over, it doesn't give us any type of friction or stick at all. Now, got a nice little bit of our, our oil is getting nice and hot, moving around our pan. Let's go ahead and get some of that asparagus in. Ooh. And you know that your oil is ready when you hear that sizzle. Hear a little bit of sizzle, and we'll get our get our ham in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna saute this. Now, when we say saute, that means we're gonna move it around our pan so that it gets all nice and coated with each other. Got a little ham there, we're gonna get that back in. Keep mixing it around. I wanna get that ham nice and warm, and at the same time, I want to reheat the other asparagus that we're putting in here from last night. Mmm, you guys smell that? Yeah, smell I can good. smell it. It smells super good. Yeah, it smells like peanut butter. <laughs> Everything here smells like peanut butter. Yeah, so no, it doesn't. All right, so now, guys, we're going to get a little bit of salt. Pepper. Get yeah. a little bit of pepper in there. Two to mix it up. Love the smell of pepper when it goes into the skillet. Ah. Now... We're gonna take our eggs. Oh, but up right before we get our eggs in, I like to get a little bit of butter into the pan. That's gonna create flavor. Sounds like firecrackers. <laughs> yeah, kind of does. All right. So we got our toppings in. Now we're gonna add our egg. So guys, it keeps a good omelet. You want to make sure it's okay, bro. You want to make sure that you are getting the outside of your omelet and pushing that wall in so that it reforms and you get a nice layer under there. And all I'm doing is continuing to move the liquid. I'm moving the part that solidifies and I'm letting the liquid go in under that. That's cool. Mmm. It dries so quickly. Yep, that's the. Egg hits the heat, and that's what's turning into it. Now we're gonna get a little pinch of salt here. Got our flip. Oh, you know what? What we're doing is now I'm gonna kill the heat. The heat is totally off of that. I forgot one thing, guys. What? You know what I forgot? What? Cheese. Got the cheese. How could you? I know. How could I forget the cheese, right? Right. It can't so be an omelet without cheese. Now, take our cheese. Ooh. We're going to put that inside our flip omelet. Going to flip that over there like that. Now, Carrie created a cheese omelet. A boom. There is our lovely, beautiful ham, cheese, asparagus. and asparagus omelet made by the whole family. You guys enjoy. We're about to enjoy this. Yep. Yeah,